we've created a project and uh, added some virtual items to our project. And now we're going to show you on the developer dashboard how a game developer can mint these virtual items into on-chain assets for sale in their game. So here the developer is opening their project and they're going to go to uh, the minting operation. And the minting operation requires something called a fuse block. A fuse block is essentially a quantity of the ready token wrapped in smart contract, which is necessary to turn your virtual item into an on-chain asset. So let's go ahead and watch the developer uh, select a fuse block from this list of fuse blocks this developer has purchased and owned uh, that he's now going to use to mint. So he's going to select the first fuse block and he's selecting this uh, in-game asset, virtual asset. It's a sniper rifle and importantly here, um, he has decided to mint a hundred of these uh, on-chain and Karma is the proxy token we're using in this case. So it's a hundred, each one costs, I'll just point out, 10, so it's a thousand tokens being used. And here on MetaMask, you're gonna see for a moment just the synchronization happening to the Polygon testnet where uh, that was the transaction in gas fee related to this creation of this bundle of NFTs, 100 sniper rifles, soon to be on-chain, for sale by the step. At this point, the transaction is confirmed. Confirmed, we're going to Polygon scan just to show you uh, that in fact, uh, that asset is there. Um, and so now we see this asset is ready for sale. It has become an NFT, 100 of them available. And as we look on Polygon scan, we can see that indeed uh, the asset is now available for sale in the game. Next, we'll take a look at how a player actually buys this inside of a game.